In many of the world's military establishments, a brevet was a warrant giving a commissioned officer a higher rank title as a reward for gallantry or meritorious conduct, but without receiving the authority, precedence, or pay of real rank. An officer so promoted was referred to as being breveted. The promotion would be noted in the officer's title. This is not to be confused with a brevet in Francophone European military circles where it is an award, nor should it be confused with temporary commissions. France. In French use it applies to commissions in general. The French military used provisional commissions much similar to temporary commissions, that is, promotions given to officers performing high-profile duties before the regular date of promotion. As an example, Charles de Gaulle was promoted provisional brigadier general in 1940 when he was commander of an armored division. In French, an officer breveté is known between 1870 to 1940 as an officer who studied in La Colle Supérieure de Guerre, where lieutenants and capitaines could reinforce their knowledge. Germany. In the Prussian and German army and navy, it was possible to bestow a character rank on officers that was in many respects similar to a brevet rank. For example, an obus could receive the character als general major. Very often, German officers would be promoted to the next higher character rank on the day of their retirement. Spain. It was not uncommon during the 19th century to distinguish between empleo rank and graduation being the effective command position. In the 1884 rank regulations stars marked the rank whilst the actual post was reflected in gold lace on the cuffs. As in practice both situations coincided the system was dropped in 1908 leaving only the starred system of denoting rank. Nevertheless, during the Spanish Civil War the system was revived in the nationalist side due to the lack of trained officers because of the enlargement of the army. The breveted officers wore their actual rank on the cuffs but their breveted one in a rectangular black patch on the left breast of their coats or shirts. United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom the brevet commission was only by courtesy. Officially, both titles were used as Major and Brevet Lieutenant Colonel Cornwallis. Originally the term designated a promotion given on such occasions as a coronation, or the termination of a great war, and had its origin during the reign of James II, but it was abused so frequently and used to such an extent by the General Award of Brevet Commissions that in 1854, during and after the Crimean War, its bestowal was limited strictly to cases of very distinguished service in the field and on the principle of seniority. In the United Kingdom, brevet commissions were confined to ranks from captain to lieutenant colonel. The brevet conferred rank in the army, but importantly, not in the regiment. Advancement in the regiment could take place generally only by purchase or by seniority, and when there was a suitable vacancy, when on duty with his regiment, only regimental rank counted. If the regiment was with a larger formation then brevet rank could be used to determine command of temporary units, formed for special purposes. In particular brigadier was not then a permanent rank so command of brigades was determined by seniority, including date of promotion to any brevet rank. Thus it was possible for a regimental major to hold a brevet lieutenant colonel C with seniority over the commission of his own commanding officer as lieutenant colonel and be given command of a brigade. Similarly, if the officer was serving in a staff position or as an aide-de-camp then they could use their brevet rank. Appointment to a brevet also counted towards the requirement to have served for a sufficient time in a lower rank to be eligible for promotion to a more senior one. United States the Articles of War adopted by the United States Army in 1776 and slightly revised in 1806 established the use and significance of brevet ranks or awards in the U.S. Army. When first used, a brevet commission in the U.S. Army entitled the officer to be identified by a higher rank but the award had limited effect on the right to higher command or pay. A brevet rank had no effect within the officer's current unit, but when assigned duty at the brevet rank by the U.S. 
president such an officer would command with the brevet rank and be paid at the higher rank. This higher command and pay would last only for the duration of that assignment. The brevet promotion would not affect the officer's seniority and actual permanent rank in the army. Beginning on April 16, 1818, brevet commissions also required confirmation by the United States Senate, just as all other varieties of officer commissions did. Early use brevets were first used in the U.S. Army during the American Revolutionary War. Often, the nation's Continental Congress could not find suitable positions for foreign officers, mostly from France, who sought commissions. The first U.S. Francheson and another 35 men of foreign birth would hold brevet commissions in the army by the end of the war. By 1784, an additional 50 officers would receive brevets for meritorious services during the conflict. In the 19th century U.S. Army, brevet promotions were quite common because the army had many frontier forts to garrison and other missions to perform but could not always appoint appropriately ranked officers to command these forts or missions. The U.S. Congress permitted only a limited number of officers of each rank. Thus, an officer of lower rank might receive a brevet commission to a rank more appropriate for his assignment. Also, newly commissioned officers often received brevet rank until authorized positions became available. For example, an officer might graduate from West Point and be appointed a brevet second lieutenant until a permanent posting opened up. In early 1861, some recent graduates of West Point temporarily were named brevet second lieutenants because not enough regular army officer vacancies were available to give them commissions as regular second lieutenants. In addition to officers being appointed to a brevet rank to temporarily serve in positions designated for higher ranked officers, officers might be awarded brevet rank as recognition for gallantry or meritorious service. American Civil War During the American Civil War, almost all senior officers received some form of brevet award, mainly during the final months of the war. These awards were made for gallantry or meritorious service, rather than for command. In addition to the authorization in a previous law for awards of brevet ranks to regular army officers, an act of Congress of March 3, 1863 authorized the award of brevet rank to officers of the United States Volunteers. Thus, brevet awards became increasingly common later in the war. Some officers even received more than one award. Because of the existence of both regular Army and United States volunteers' ranks and the possibility that an officer could hold actual and brevet ranks in both services, some general and other officers could hold as many as four different ranks simultaneously. For example, by the end of the war, Ranald S. Mackenzie was a brevet major general of volunteers, an actual full-rank brigadier general of volunteers, a brevet brigadier general in the United States regular army, and an actual regular army captain. Brevet rank in the Union Army, whether in the regular army or the United States volunteers, during and at the conclusion of the American Civil War, may be regarded as an honorary title which conferred none of the authority, precedence, nor pay of real or full rank. The vast majority of the Union Army brevet ranks were awarded posthumously or on or as of March 13, 1865 as the war was coming to a close. U.S. Army regulations concerning brevet rank provided that brevet rank could be claimed in courts martial and on detachments, when composed of different corps and when the officer served with provisional formations made up of different regiments or companies, or, on other occasions, these regulations were vague enough to support the positions of some brevet generals who caused controversies by claiming supposed priorities or privileges of brevet ranks that had been awarded to them at earlier dates during the war. Some full-rank brigadier generals in the United States volunteers in the American Civil War were awarded brevet brigadier general rank in the USV, before they received a promotion to full-rank brigadier general of United States volunteers.
Some full-rank brigadier generals in the USV were awarded the rank of brevet major general in the USV, but were not promoted to full-rank major generals in the USV. Some United States regular army officers who served with the USV in ranks below general officer were awarded brevet general officer rank in the USV but were not promoted to full rank general officers in the USV. On the other hand, at least a few USV general officers also were awarded brevet general officer rank in the regular army in addition to their full rank appointments or brevet major general awards in the United States volunteers. Many of the regular army officers of lower rank who became full rank USV generals, however, received neither actual promotions to a general officer rank nor brevet general officer awards in the regular army in addition to their USV ranks or awards. Some of them who stayed in the United States regular army after the war did achieve general officer rank in later years. In addition to the brevet awards to current full-rank United States volunteers generals during the American Civil War, 1,367 other USV officers of lower ranks were awarded the rank of brevet brigadier general, brevet major general, or both. In the United States volunteers but not promoted to full-rank USV generals, at least one enlisted man, Private Frederick W. Stowe, was breveted as a second lieutenant in the Union Army during the Civil War. The Confederate States of America had legislation and regulations for the use of brevets in their armed forces, provided by Article 61 of the nation's Articles of War, and by their 1861 Army regulations, which were based on the U.S. Army's 1857 version of their regulations. Although Article 61 was revised in 1862, it ultimately had no practical effect since the Confederate States Army did not use any brevet commissions or awards during its existence. The United States Marine Corps also issued brevets. After officers became eligible for the Medal of Honor, a rare Marine Corps brevet medal was issued to living officers who had been breveted between 1861 and 1915. Modern usage The practice of breveting disappeared from the U.S. military at the end of the 19th century. Honors were bestowed instead with a series of medals. Breveting was declared obsolete in 1922. However, the similar practice of frocking continues in four of the five branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. The U.S. Air Force does not allow the regular practice of frocking before a promotion date, except in rare circumstances, such as when an officer selected for promotion is assigned to a billet. That requires him or her to hold, where the higher rank to which he, she is expected to be promoted. The promotion of an enlisted person or non-commissioned officer to commissioned officer rank as a reward for displaying leadership and bravery is referred to as a direct appointment rather than a brevet. It temporarily grants the rank of first lieutenant. The holder must then attend officer candidate school in order to keep the commission. They must also have or acquire a four-year college degree if they wish to be promoted to the rank of captain or above. The U.S. National Guard, which depends on the governor of a state to concede its commissions in the Army National Guard and Air National Guard, may still confer brevets. Many states maintain a clause permitting the governor to confer any rank in its defense forces, including the militia and national guards. Some states provide that the sitting governor may confer any rank, but this appointment is considered valid only for the duration of the governor's own term in office. Some states also confer brevets as part of their regular honors system. Georgia confers honorary ranks into its state police force. Kentucky is famous for its colonels, and so too is Tennessee, both of which make the appointment as an honorary member of the governor's staff. Alabama, Kentucky, Texas and Nebraska also confer an admiralty within a symbolic navy. Similar honors have been issued for the Georgia Naval Militia, which has only existed on paper since 1908. In all cases these honorary titles may be considered effective brevets, equal to that of the National Guard, by being conferred by a sitting governor.